Hello, welcome back. Uh, my name is Jorik. This is the second video of my Gilly Shelter series. Uh, in the previous video, we saw how we attached the nets and the foundation using silicone and uh, glue. And in this video, we're going to start with the first layer of our camouflage using spray paint. So I'm going to keep it rather simple. I got two colors. I got green, uh, brown and green, excuse me. I'm going to use the brown stuff. Mostly, and then uh, if I don't like what I see, I'm going to use the green, but I'm not going to use it as often as the brown because the base is green already. So, if we don't have to use the green, I won't. So, we'll try to stick with one color. Now, we are going to, uh, because we are custom making things, we can make things a lot better than we can get it in the store. For instance, in the store, if you uh, buy camouflage, you buy a camouflage pattern. That is something we are going to to throw out the window because we are going to use organic stencils. Now, before this, I shot this video, I prepared myself and I brought myself some sticks from different trees. This is birch, uh, this is something else. Uh, this is from a, a bush. And this is more than enough. I think I got like five sticks or something. And uh, we are, I also got some uh, dead grass, bark and pine cones, everything I found over the forest floor, so we will see what we can use and what we won't use. Now, um, I'm gonna share some tips and tricks along the way, because you have to keep in mind that the ghillie that I'm using, uh, the ghillie, the beefy bag that I'm using is a, breedable, is a breedable surface. Now, if you spray it, it will clog up. So, we're gonna have a few challenges along the way and uh, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks and also how to dress this up along the way so please stick with me and let's get into the video okay so I know I won't fit the whole way in the, into the frame that is okay I would rather have to get, see uh, I would rather have that you guys can see the project clearly that then that you can see me because it's about the project not about me so excuse me for the strange angle but it, I want to keep this visible. What I said before is we want to uh, sp uh, paint as little as possible to keep as much of the breathability uh, as possible as well. So what we are not going to worry about is the, the, the parts where we are going to put our camouflage on. So the, the, the nets, we don't have to paint anything of that. Um, while we lay in the shelter, our shoulders, if you are a side sleeper, and our hips will be the highest points. So the heat will rise up to that point in the shelter so we uh, don't want to uh, spray our hip or where our hips are and where our head shoulders and everything our torso basically we want to we want to avoid that area as much as possible what we can uh, paint is our legs feet top of our head the sides and then we can do a little bit of painting in between now um, the key thing the the what we want what we would like to achieve with the base camouflage layer is to get rid of this single even surface we are not going to add depth that is something we are going to do with this, with our second layer which will involve uh, artificial um, leaves and stuff camouflage other things we can add onto the webbing the only thing we want to do is break up this even surface with the paint so that is what we are going to do okay so let's start with the head and work our way down now we cannot the part where our face will be underneath so I will tuck that away into the hood and this is the part that we can actually do something about so that is what we are going to do okay so I covered up the area that I don't want to paint uh, this is also a lot easier for you guys to see uh, what I'm working on and the reason why I put this towel over here underneath the hood is because if we paint this we will automatically spray a bit here and that will leave this straight edge on our uh, top side of the ghillie so that is something we don't want so uh, pay attention to details like that and the result will be ten, ten times uh, more interesting and better than if you don't so we go I'm going to paint this this small uh, part and this side I'm gonna stay away uh, uh, as much as possible from here because that is where the net is uh, so yeah We 
saw me do the first layer on camera and as you can see this is the part that I didn't spray and this is the part that I did spray as you saw I dusted a bit this is the first layer you can you, you should do this in layers and if you uh, want to do this at, at one day um, leave the stencils spray a bit put more stencils on go a bit further spray it again but this way you will have the same result as I do and you will have outlines that are very distinct and outlines that are less distinct just uh, bec because you spray them over a few times so that is layers that is the key layers 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 but even when it comes down to painting not just the whole bag it is itself but as you can see I did a whole part I attacked the feet and the leg part very um, aggressively and then I did some on the side as well but as you can see I stopped painting as, as I uh, closed into the middle part so that is to keep it as breathable as possible and as you can see you don't want to spray paint it too much uh, so that it starts to crack this is a bit thick now obviously if it cracks it it's only uh, it's, it's it's just a little bit inconvenient and annoying but it it won't mess up the results so you don't have to worry about it but like I said it's a bit annoying uh, that the paint starts cracking at some points so if you can avoid it please avoid it but do don't uh, don't make a big deal out of it also you can you can take a, a paper towel and dip it away and that will leave texture as well so that this actually is something you can use to your advantage so don't be shy uh, experiment on it and I will come back as this dries to show you the guys the final results so uh, see you in a bit Okay, so this is the final result. As you can see, you can see some very soft fadings and some very hard outlines. That is what I talked about earlier, that are the layers spraying a few times. As you can see, these are a couple of layers, so it's very pronounced. And this is only one layer, uh, but as you, you still can see the outline of the leaf. So, do as you please if you don't like the result yet. You can attack it with another color, like for the green for instance, or just keep at it. If you don't like uh, the way the stencils provide things, you can also draw some lines on there by yourself. Just experiment a bit, it doesn't really matter. Uh, as you can see with the organic stencils, they have one uh, major uh, fun factor about them, and that is they leave a bit of, the, of their uh, stuff behind, so there is a bit of bark stuck in the paint, a bit of grass and that is obviously a good thing for what we are trying to achieve and if you are worrying about the glossy parts like for instance here this is very glossy that is something we want to get rid of but uh, we can just rub some dirt on it and it will uh, get rid of the gloss instantly so this is the result as far as the first layer of camouflage go uh, goes uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I will be up next week so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for the next part and I will promise you this will come alive with the next layer so see you in a bit